वेलकाम स्टूडेंट आज के जे क्वेश्चन थे स्टार्ट कर इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल डायपोल मीस टू पोल्स डायपोलर बेसिक कन्सेप्ट पे जो हमें मैगनेट पढ़े इनकेस अफ मैगनेट हमें देखे इट्स अल्सो अ डायपोल बिकज इनकेस अफ मैगनेट देर इज टू पोल सपोज यू आर कन्सिडारिंग दिस द बार मैगनेट दें दिस इज द नर्थ पोल एंड दिस वज द साउथ पोल दोटो पोलर पोल स्ट्रेंथ क्योंकि सेम ऑनलि द डिफारेंस इज द टू पोल आर इज द अपोजिट पोलारिटी इनकेस अफ इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल इट्स अल्सो द सेम इफ यू प्लेस द टू चार्जेस टू इक्ल चार्जेस बट अफ अपोजिट पोलारिटी एट द टू एंड दें इट उल बी कन्सिडार एज द इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल सो टू इक्ल एंड अपोजिट चार्ज आर सेपारेटेड बै ए फाइनइट डिस्टेंस इज कन्स्टिट्यूट एंड इलेक्ट्रिक डायपोल If we consider this diagram, the both end in this end there is a minus Q charge and this end end there is a positive plus Q charge. So the value of the charge at the two end is equal. The both are Q, but one is positive, another is negative, and that's why it is a dipole. And the length separated by this two charge is two I C L. So we can say the length of the dipole is two L. Now, now we are moving to our a next quantity, and that next quantity is a dipole moment. What is a dipole moment? If the two, if the plus Q and minus Q charge are separated at a distance of two L, then the dipole moment can be written as the multiplication of the charge and the length between them. That means charge, or that is middle, that is intermediate distance, that is multiplication. So charge is Q. And the distance is twice L, and that's why this is Q into two L, and that is abbreviated by small p, and which is the abbreviation of dipole moment. So ultimately, p is equal to two Q L. Now the question arises: P is a scalar, not a vector. It's a vector because because first, I'm not just telling you SI unit to Q have a Q L unit have a coulomb or L unit have a meter, so that's been coulomb meter, and as it is a vector, it should have a direction. If a direction to Q. The direction of the dipole moment is always from negative to positive. That means if we consider p is a vector, this will be the direction of the p vector because it is always directed from from negative charge to the positive charge. Now, what will happen if the dipole is placed inside a electric field? We all are aware of that that f f is equal to q v. So, if f is equal to q v, I think there is a two charges. and there is a intensity e so each of the charge will experience the force now the question arises what will be the direction of that force ekta kotha porishkar bujhe nao positive charge er upor je force ta apply hobe tar direction intensity direction er same dike hobe and negative charge er upor je force ta apply hobe force er value q e hobe kintu direction intensity er opposite direction e hobe if we consider the next topic there is a torque due to a dipole just look at the torque means force into distance now if we consider this diagram i think this is a dipole of plus q and minus q where it is placed it is placed inside a electric field e then if the electric field intensity is e there is a charge plus q so there is a force and that force is qv the direction of the force on positive charge is the same direction of the intensity e so arrow do to direction same minus q charge negative q charge er upor force hobe force er value koto force er value same q v but direction is the opposite direction of the intensity that's mean there are two forces on the dipole plus q charge er jonno force koto q v minus q charge er force koto q v now this plus q charge er upor je force q v ache seta ei direction e dipole ke rotate korte chaibe सिमिलारलि माइनस कि चार्जर ऊपर जो फोर्स आज है किऊ से डोरेक्शने डायपोल के रोटेट करते चाहिए सो दे आर लिवि टू टर्क एंड बोथ अफ द टर्क आर इन द सेम डोरेक्शन एंड इन दिस पिक्चर इट इज इट इज क्लक वाइज दैट्स मीन द टोटल टर्क उल प्रड्यूस इन सैड द डायपोल नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द टोटल टर्क एंड वी नो दैट द टर्क इज अ फोर्स इन टू डिस्टेंस द फोर्स फोर्स इज किऊ But what about the distance? It is twice L. No, because this distance is not at all any distance, but it is the perpendicular distance. And if you do two force cap to that, co do two force at perpendicular distance, kintu a two L noy. 
I think the perpendicular distance is this. So you have to find the value of this height. So if we consider a triangle, then this angle is phi for us. Where phi is the angle between your intensity and the dipole moment vector. And if this angle is phi, then this angle is also be phi. So this angle is phi now for this triangle. And the hypotenuse is twice L for me. And so that this height should be 2L sin phi. Because we all are aware of that. That the perpendicular by hypotenuse is equal to sin phi. So now, now if we put down the value over there, the force, the force will be QV for us. And the distance is not twice L, but it will be the height and that is 2L sin phi for us. If we multiply this 2, I think this will be tau is equal to 2 QL E sin phi. Now what is 2 QL? I think ek to agi amra bollam 2 QL mani holo dipole moment small p. So in the next line we can write this torque is equal to P E sin phi. Your ekta kotha bebe dako. A B sin theta jodi A cross B hote pare. Tale P E sin phi mani bolte pare it is the cross product of P and E because P is dipole moment which is a vector. And E is the electric field intensity. That's when the torque is a vector which is the cross product of the dipole moment and the intensity. So this is the produced torque inside a dipole. Whenever the dipole is placed inside an electric field. Now, now if we consider the phi is equal to 0. Phi is equal to 0 means, means the intensity and the dipole moment are in the same direction. And if it is so, I think it can be written as the dipole is parallel to the electric field. So the, if the dipole is placed parallel to the electric field, then the phi will be 0 degree and I know that the sine 0 is equal to 0. That's mean, that's mean this is the picture for you. If this electric field and this dipole is placed parallelly, then, then the torque P E sine phi, now it is sine 0 and sine 0 is 0. That's mean that is the minimum value of the torque. question Torque and minimum value kato? Zero. A torque and value zero hole dipole stable situation a thakbe tharmane dipole ghurbe na, rotate korbe na. Ar kakun sheta hove? Jodhi dipole ke electric field intensity shate parallelly placed kora hai. Ar tokuni torque and value minimum hove and that minimum value is zero. Now the question is, if it is placed perpendicularly, if it is placed perpendicularly then phi will be 90 degree for us. So, so we can say the dipole is placed perpendicular to the electric field and this is the electric field and this angle is 90 degree and this dipole is placed perpendicular to it. And we know that, that the tau is equal to PE sin phi and this sin phi is now sin 90 and sin 90 is 1. So we can say the torque have a maximum value of 2 QLE or it can be written as PE and which is the maximum value and when the maximum value will be achieved when the dipole is placed perpendicular to the electric field. So two important points you have to remember. What is the minimum value of torque? Is zero. When? When the dipole is placed parallel to the electric field. When? When the value of the angle is zero for me. And what is the maximum value of torque? The maximum value of torque is PE. And when it will be achieved? When the dipole is placed perpendicular to the electric field. And then the phi is 90 degrees. Now, now if we consider the dipole is rotating and this is the range of the value of the torque. Whenever we are rotating something, that's when we have to done some work done also. Now we have to find that for producing this torque, what will be the work done of that dipole? So the next topic is the work done for a dipole. Let's consider the same diagram. I am considering this is a dipole. This is plus Q charge. And this is minus Q charge. And the length of the dipole is 2L. And if we consider this is the midpoint, then this length will be L and this half of length will be L. Now we are, we are giving some force here and that force is F. And due to the force, the dipole is rotated for an angle of small angle and that is D theta for us. Now, if we consider the work done. What is work done? Work done means force into displacement. Now the force is F and displacement is DS, the small displacement. Now if we consider the force, so this is the picture which is, which is again drawn by us. And this picture indicates that this is the center of the dipole and which is the rotational point. 
The angle is d theta. The length that can be considered here is the radius is L. Then the linear displacement is ds. And we all know that ds equals to L into d theta. So, so ultimately ds can be substituted as L into d theta. So in the next line we can write it is a instead of ds we can write L into d theta. Now it is it is the force into length and force into length means the torque. So in the next line you can say it is torque tau into d theta. So we got a formula of work done and that is dw is equal to tau into d theta. What is tau? Tau is the torque. I am already paying the tau where value kato. Tau where value 2 q e l sin theta into into d theta. I am writing p e sin theta o likhte paartam. Thalen, I am na apato to jeta pelam dw is equal to either you can say it is p e sin theta or it can be said 2 q e l sin theta into d theta. Ebar ki chai, work done chai. So w is the integration of dw. तर मने एटा एई साइडेर जुदी इंटिग्रेशन करा हाए तले एटा साइडेरो इंटिग्रेशन कोरते हावे So in the next line 2QEL it's constant and it will be only integration of sin theta into d theta In the next line you can say 2QL 2QL means 2QL means मने P E आचे सर and integration of sin theta is minus cos theta and ultimately this is the work done for rotating the dipole and this work done is a negative work done. That means against the force work done. And we all are aware of that. That AB sin theta means A cross B. Kintu AB cos theta means A dot B. Tale PE cos theta means bolte bari P dot E. So in the next line we can say the work done is equal to P dot E and this minus sign is indicating the against the force work done and this work done will be stored inside the dipole as the potential energy because work done jodi negative hai tale energy stored hai or work done jodi positive hai tale energy loss hai in this case the work done is negative and that is the reason of the energy of any electric dipole. तले एक टा परिश्कार कोता आवार बुझे नाओ, P टा की dipole moment, E टा की intensity, दुजो नहीं vector, एई दुटो vector ए cross product को ले torque होए, आ दुटो vector ए dot product को ले work done होए, now if we consider, that I am rotating this dipole for a bounded angle, bounded angle means, the initial angle was theta 1 and final angle is theta 2, तर मने मुने करो कुनो एक्टा न्यू मारी कले बोल छे calculate the work done to rotate a dipole from 30 degree to 60 degree that's mean the value of theta 1 is 30 and value of theta 2 is 60 then what will happen I think w is integration of dw in previous case it is the same it will be again the integration of 2 q e l sin theta d theta but अगर बारे कुनो lower limit और upper limit छिलो ना now the lower limit is theta 1 and upper limit is theta 2. Because we know that the lower limit is the lower limit. The lower limit is the upper limit. So in the next line. 2QEL is the same. You can write PEO because 2QEL means P dipole moment. But the sin theta integration is the same. Minus cos theta. So the next step is the same. Minus cos theta is the upper limit and lower limit. So that will be cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. So, so this is P, this is E and within bracket it will be cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. So that will be the formula of work done for me. But what's the difference? In this case, in this case suppose question will 0 degree theke 45 degree rotate code. So it is a any angle. But jodi kono bounded angle bole dai. The 30 degree theke 60 degree. Then we have to use the second formula. So firstly, P and E, a duto vector at cost product ko le ki pabe torque, ar a duto vector at dot product ko le ki habe work done. Next, next we are moving to the intensity of the dipole. This is the next part. We will start this part 